And, uh, new game. Okay. Contrast gets its 30 minutes starting. Once this loads in, I think that's fair. I don't remember the game looking that good, I think that's just concept art. Or like a touched up screenshot. Like it wasn't that cell shaded. Okay, half hour starts now. Mm -hmm. Oh, I guess not. Okay. Why did I pick it up there when it's clearly over here? It's time for bed, Dee Dee. Go hop in bed. I'll be right in to tuck you in. Mm, those textures look good. You know, for a game from 2013. Like. Daddy? What are you doing here? My mommy's coming. You better hide, or she's gonna catch you. Okay, sweetie. Night, night. What are you looking at? I don't think she can see you. Now promise me you'll be a good girl while I'm out singing. I promise. No sneaking out this time. I'll get in trouble. I promise. That's my good girl. Mommy. Is Daddy ever coming back? I don't know, honey. Maybe someday when he's ready. But don't you worry. Mommy always comes back. I'll be home before you even wake up. Get some now go to bed, fully dressed. Okay, she's gone. She's gonna sing at the ghost note tonight. It's the most beautiful cabaret. I can hear you talking to yourself. Maybe I shouldn't hey, leave you alone. Okay. Yes, is fall deaths. And there's the mechanic for this game. And I got a trophy for discovering the mechanic. It's called a new dimension. That's a bit condescending, just like. This sounds like a natural child they got to uh, voice her. Now we go this way. Yeah. Follow me. Definitely. I remember playing like about two hours of this when the PS4 came out and just never touching it again. Oh, I think you're too big. <laughs> it wasn't too bad, but like, I mean, just it wasn't. It didn't have too much of a draw to come back. It goes all the way through to the other street. I think the gimmick kind of war, it's welcome. You could walk up the shadow, couldn't you? I imagine like nobody really remembers this game even, from what I can tell. Wait a minute, this is Gravity Rush. <laughs> Just for shadows. Like, it's all like French turn aesthetic. Like, yeah, this, this might as well be Western Gravity Rush. Not as good as I knew that. Yeah. It's like the same kind of, you know, Chinese aesthetic. 
and French. The plump. Nowadays I would be called the thick. Model them. Oh wait, that's the whole point of this game, everybody's shadows, because it's easy to model on it. Did you always want to be an acrobat? You're so good. Come on, let's go in. Wanna put on some lights? I promise you'll like the view. Remember this going and kind of wearing out its welcome. Come like, on, sugar. Help a girl out here. Cutscene kind of goes on a while. Can't play in the dark. On the fritz. Hey, Spark, could you do something about that one too? It's really messing with our rhythm. I do have to wonder, did they actually model these animations or something? Should probably look that up. Like, are there actually 3D models here and they're just invisible? This is just reminding me, I played Assassin's Creed Unity recently, and they have that thing at the start where they show you a whole bunch of like fake Assassin's Creed games, or just ones they're not making yet. I mean, they had a tease for Assassin's Creed China during it, and um, one of them was set in the Warring Trenties, and like the assassin is. It's like an assassin's white hood in like a fancy, like a suit, like mobster kind of suit, and just, damn, I would love to play that game. Like, it's such a good setting for an Assassin's Creed game. Like, there's that, and there, I think there's also one set, set in Ireland. But, uh, I'd say the Warring 21. Yes, just like on the character design alone would be amazing. So hopefully, you know, maybe they'll make it a gimmick that uh, Trenty Trenties Assassin's Creed game will be the Warring Trenties one. What are you doing here? You're singing good tonight, Ken. Don't smooth talk me, Johnny. We had an agreement. Is that what you call it? I never wanted to leave. You kicked me out. You want money from me, Johnny? Because I'm ducking the land. I don't need a handout, babe. Look at this suit. You work in another one of your famous deals? This one's big, Cat. Oh, sure it is. Till it blows up like last time and the time before Not that. Not this time, babe. I'm gonna make it all up to you. I gotta get back on stage. Then meet me after. I'm staying at the Excelsior. Excelsior. Oh. Shit, it's gonna be better this time, babe. You're gonna see how much better it can be. Room 529, kiddo. Right, I'm just waiting for um, somebody to call a woman cat in this. I don't know. I'm not just anybody like, oh, you're a smooth kit. Where is he going? I need to talk to him.
Am I following Johnny or am I following the girl? He just went through the gate. I bet he's going to the bar. Mommy said Daddy left us, but that's not true, is it? She kicked him out. It won't open. But you could break it open. You're pretty strong. Come on, it's this way. You know, uh, considering I'm for all intents and purposes, I probably am her imaginary friend. Couldn't she just imagine more powers for you? Like right away, just to make things convenient. So it's just some film footage of your act. Why can't you let me borrow it just overnight? Because it is my new act and it's top secret, which is why my agent has it safely locked in his office upstairs. I just want to show it to my investors. They want to get to know you better. Mr. Fenris, I have performed my illusion act for the King of England and the Emperor of Japan. There are untouchables in India who tell stories of the amazing Vincenzo. If your investors don't know me, they're not in show business. You think I can't pay you? Look at this suit. I'm staying at the Excelsior Hotel. I've asked around about you, Mr. Fenris. People tell me not to trust you. And I've asked around about you, Mr. Amazing. You're not as flush as you look. You got a few debts, which is why I think you'll perform at the opening night of my circus. You dare accuse me Look, of... I made a beautiful poster. Now I just need to borrow your film reel. Until I see some earnest money from you, I'm damned if I will lend you the time of day. All right. I'll get you a check. Cash. Cash, don't worry. I'll call you tomorrow. It's been such a pleasure meeting with you. Thanks for the drink. Okay. Easy puzzle. You just push it forward to make everything grow bigger. Oh wait, that's not what the solution is. I'm sorry. You have to move it to the side as well. have a nice atmosphere. It is, as they say, comfy. I guess that's... Oh, audio logs. Oh yeah, these are more than just audio logs, because you can actually move right during them. Use them as, uh, as uh, platforms. Like donor list. <laughs> Anonymous. Wow. <laughs> Daniel Rivera. That sounds familiar. But I'm not going to really recognize any of these, though. This is probably the first time in 2018 anybody selected this list, so. If I don't let it play. <laughs> okay. It's just the same thing. Right. That was actually a secret. I'm starting to get Sonic 
<laughs> unleashed flashbacks. <laughs> uh, just any European time, like say. Giancarlo de Tierladans, la demoiselle. Okay, I thought there was Italian because Giancarlo. Oh, I mean, that's Italian, that's but. I guess it's French. I mean, everything else here is French, so. Except come and see Vincenzo de Great Nutrition. Uh, Giancarlo de Tierladans, la demoiselle de l'Espagne. Adriana Gaff dans une conscience coupable. I'm very sorry. Oh, well, it's big moon. I thought, yeah, I, I remember being able to platform on those. I guess this is a dead end. Yep. No, like I looked at before. It's barely modeled. Dirty. Girls, 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 girls. Well, free exits. Ooh, baby. Chic baby. So, oh, that, and that's where I came from. Mm. Yeah, I came from there, so... Man, I would love to visit these places <laughs> if they were real. Friends. Complete with the shadow girl. Forever and ever. Hmm, that's not it. Ah, yeah, you need to get like a power. <laughs> it's it's going, to go, going to be called a power cell, probably, and like, yeah, just you can't escape from them after playing Jack and Daxter. Daddy's gonna get into trouble without that movie reel. We have to get it for him. Where, where, where am I? You? Oh no, shut up. <laughs> shut up. <laughs> um, I'll try going back where I was. Oh, at least, uh, at least it cuts off. Yeah, Excelsior, there we go. Oh, I remember this being cool. I think that took me forever to figure out. Oh, oh wait, film rear. Film real. Not film rear. Really? I have no idea. I get ah, oh, I'm supposed to go up there. Sorry for wasting like ten minutes. Um hmm. I guess you can't get it there. Right? 
Ah, there we go. What the heck? What? 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 Okay. Although that trolley is still moving according to the side effects. Oh dear. I think this game's made music? Like, <laughs> okay, it's cliche to blame everything that goes wrong in the Unity game on the engine, but. Like, I mean, this is like four years ago. It's likely just caused by dumbness in the Unity. <laughs> No, oh, they're not just, like, optional collectibles. Well, I guess it was not power cells after all. So am I a demon that's possessing the scroll? <laughs> Of shadows. Ah, yes, yes. Well, let's just get a luminary. I don't really care. Interact performance. Ah! Ah, that's so bright. Like, it's not actually hurting my eyes. Oh, actually, it almost is. It's hurting my eyes, like looking at an actual bright light. Ah, that's. How, how, how do you manage that? <laughs> that works right. Oh god, that was actually pretty easy. Mm -hmm. 
side first. Simple, no? Um, oh, can I not actually go in? Oh, shadows. Uh, it's just before I go in there. Isn't that like way before this? It was like way after this time period? If that's. Well, I mean, that's clearly a reference to that picture of the uh, girl. Um, okay. It's just out uh, before I go, I want to see if this is anything. Um, no, I guess not. It's, I thought maybe you needed to put her face on the uh, woman's figure. at the cabaret are you coming home <laughs> that's my plan i've got to convince your mother is she here no i snuck out <laughs> oh boy you're growing up fast you uh, used to be scared of the dark but did she really kick you out well yeah kind of at the time i wasn't being very good to her so i guess i had it coming i missed you so much <sighs> i missed you too honey but i'm gonna come back home i'm putting together a circus see it's gonna pay for everything and you know who it's going to star? The amazing Vincenzo. <laughs> How much snooping around have you been doing? Yeah, it's going to star the amazing Vincenzo. He's good, huh? Look, you're really not supposed to be out this late. I'm, I'm going to take you home. I brought you the mail. Shh, shh, shh. But... Oh, shh. Uh, I got a couple of investors coming here, and they don't like kids much. I need you to run home by yourself, okay? But I brought you... Didi, you have to get out of here. I won't tell Mom you snuck out. Okay, go. Ghosts. Hey, come on, Silvio. He doesn't have the memory to show that. His name is Salvio, so why are we here? <coughs> Salvio, yeah, what did I say? I got great news. Vincenzo is in. You have to show them the memory. You got him? You're sure? Sure, I'm sure. He's going to play opening night. Really bring in the crowds. So that's why you brought us here, huh? You're going to show us his act? Yeah. Yeah, except uh, the projector's broken. Because if you don't got them, your circus is going to flop, and you're not going to be able to pay us back. And then I'm going to have to break your arms, and then we'll see how well you swim. Look, I'm going to need just a little more money to uh, finalize things with Vincenzo. Are you kidding me? What'd you spend that money on, that suit? Listen, it's all going to come back to the... Oh! Show them the movie. Show them the movie. Show them the movie. Knock it off, Sal. Check this out. Jeez, he is amazing. I told you I got him. Okay, let's go get your money. Thanks a bunch. <laughs> Look, why don't I swing by tomorrow and pick it up? Relax. He's just posing. He's not That's doing anything. Think, huh? I know a guy who'll fix that finger right up. I can't. I gotta go meet someone. Boy, you're in a hurry, huh? She must be a real ripe tomato. Haha. <laughs> You wanna go meet Johnny's tomato, Sal? I like a ripe tomato. That tomato's my wife. Always wanted to meet the wife. Huh? We'll play canasta. Just the four of us. Hmm? Okay, but he's not asking Johnny. He's telling. Act one. Uh, the trophy notifications block blocking what the title was. Uh, the problems of real old people. So in act one, it felt like that was the end of act one.
got bloom. Lighting is a bit nuts. Like I thought we moved past this once the PS3 generation that ended. Oh, right, right. This gives me a during the PS3 generation. <laughs> She was getting pretty loud in there. See? You meet a guy's wife, now he's got a whole new reason to make good. How come you know so much? Cause my ma used to smack me every time I didn't know. I should try that with my kids. Now I remember this puzzle being a bit annoying. Ugh, geez, that is bright. Mm -hmm. Come on. I press it. Come on. <laughs> Not stand on elevator. Hmm. Hmm. Oh, it's. What is the lighting in this game? It's so. It's so warm. I don't know. It's just. Yeah. It's unpleasant. Like light, lighting doesn't really bother me in a game or anything. It's just. There's something about this. Is it enough? Hmm. <sighs> um, okay. Come on. There we Because there was definitely something you gotta do with these, uh, that's so bright. <laughs> Sorry. Um, there's something you gotta do about, uh, the lifts going up and down. Oh. No, it's just a little bit. What's the bit that uh square we'll just see how much he does. Oh, oh it's still lights. Right. Right, then there we go. There we go. Maybe you could sneak in through a window or something, and then you could let me in.
Why'd you have to come back, Johnny? I want to come home, Kat. And you got another pot of gold at the end of the rainbow? That's the past, Kat. I've changed. Oh, yeah? You get religion? I got lonely. I miss you, baby. I'm never going to give you another reason to kick me out. You don't believe a word you're saying. I know, because I can read your mind like a highway sign. No, Johnny. Not again. You're a carousel of broken dreams. You keep coming around and around. No one is ever going to love you like I do, kiddo. Get back. Don't try and kiss me, Johnny. I'll lose my mind. Are you going to shoot me? Ah, go ahead and shoot. I got two holes in me where you and Dee Dee used to be. Put another one in there. Finish me off. What do you want with Dee Dee? You're not even a real father. What, you think Vincenzo's real? All he ever I wonder if this was written by some of these dumb plays before. I'm real father, but I'm the one that showed her how to tie her shoes. I'm the one that put her to bed when you had to stay out late. You took her to see his show. Did he change his mind? He doesn't want to be her father. He doesn't want to be anybody. I father. hate you. Jesus, Cal, what are you doing? Mommy, stop. What are you doing? No nothing. Mommy and Daddy were having a little fight. It's not a real gun. It's just a toy. Yeah. Yeah, it's just a toy, Didi. Mommy, are you gonna let Daddy come home? Didi. Please, please let Daddy come home. He's in pretty deep with some bad people, Didi. Maybe he should make good with them first. Right, Johnny? Maybe I'm no good without my family. Maybe I need my family to make good. Johnny. Yeah, Daddy needs us. If this is another train wreck, it's not just going to be you and the train this time. I'm not going to let it wreck this time. I promise. I've missed you so much. Yay! Daddy's coming home! The end. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's definitely the end of Act 1 then. <laughs> According to how long to beat, this game is about three and a half hours long. I'm not going to finish it all in one sitting, but I mean, that's... Like, I think, you know, I'll... In particular, the short games I'll, that I don't hate, or just you know, feel like they're, they would be enjoyable to play through altogether, I will, you know, play to completion. Circus is in town? It's Daddy Circus. He says it's gonna be the biggest thing ever. Except he always says stuff like that, and then something goes wrong. And Vincenzo's my real daddy. We have to go talk to him. Really? Mm -hmm. oh, oh, what's that? They're so happy. There aren't any pictures of the bad times. These are in the basement. She only takes them out when Daddy's living with us. You know in stories where the little girl is really a princess and her parents aren't really her parents? Does she still get to see them? Hmm. Hmm. Um, the, uh, FOV or... Length of distance seems a bit weird there. Oh no! It's an eviction notice! Daddy says he's gonna pay all the bills when the circus is a big hit. Come on! I want to go find Vincenzo! Usually there's a text-only version, you know, that you can't really read handwriting that well, or if you can't zoom in. Yeah, that was not considered for this, it seems. I don't think they'll hold you. You'll have to go through shadows. Nice. Oh no! Wait, this is like a floating island? I guess none of this is real. Come on! Hmm. 
That's pretty. Oh, I remember this bet being pretty neat. Hey, Vincenzo! Ready for our big night? People are really excited. You're gonna have to give them their money back. What? We're sold out. You haven't paid me. I got the money. We're selling out. You'll have it before the show. Even if you do, I can't perform here. Your circus is a disaster. It's coming together. Your puppet show about the princess is missing the princess. You've lost your hot air balloon, and where did you get that pirate ship? It is a broken down piece of junk. Come on, Vincenzo, it's opening day. There's always a few wrinkles to iron out. Look, I'll get it all fixed. No problem. Consider it done. All right. But don't think that I will be some sort of shiny bauble that lures people into your scrapyard. He's so mean. I'll get it fixed, I promise. Or I'm a dead man. I'm worried about Daddy. He always says it's okay, but those gangsters really hurt him. We have to fix the circus, so Daddy will be safe. Come on, it's this way. Now this is kind of reminds me of Psychonauts. It's a kind of mishmash of themes for puzzle platforming. Look, there's the balloon. It got snagged so they can't pull it down. But nobody can get up there to entangle it. I bet somebody didn't pay attention when he was tying. I think we just need a couple. A carousel. What do you mean I have zero? I think I can turn it on. Do you have any luminaries? Oh, it's this area's luminaries. Hmm. Somewhere. For some... Oh, oh, nice. Right. One of these. Hmm. Come on, bowler. Bowler hat. What? Why does it keep rejecting me? Okay. There we go. There we go. No, no, don't run out of time. There we go. Oh, no. Oh, no. Ah, there we go. Hmm. Well, that's a puzzle. Can I climb? Nope. Alright, well, I have enough. I think I can turn this on now. I think you're gonna need to get that beacon working. Oops, sorry. Was I in the way? Did what do you mean, your ability? That's something you already <laughs> taught me. Oh, no, no. Why did I go so far? There we go. Aww.
Oh, no. okay, well, please. Yes, thank you. Thank you, game. Thanks, Dark Souls. <laughs> I guess it really does have full damage. No. Hurry. What? Why is that glow? Oh my! Look at the gloom on that. Sorry, but wow, it's like burning bright as the sun, and it's just a damn candle holder. Jeez, like way to overdo it. What's that? Pigs? The amazing airplane flying pigs. Oh. Tortuga's revenge. Hmm. Very, very mysterious. It's like pitch black. There's too much lighting up there, and there's too little lighting down here. Just can't win. Like, I, I guess it's stylized and all, but still, like, some of this is a bit much. And some of this is not enough much. Hey, has anyone seen the princess puppet? We can't really start the story without her. That sounds like daddy. Oh, she's around here somewhere. Ah, there she is. Oh, yeah, I remember this. This is a Once pretty good bit. There was a princess who lived in a castle with her father, the king. The king loved her very much because daddies love their daughters. Unfortunately, the kingdom also had an ogre who was eating travelers because ogres do that. Somebody wants to. So, the king did what kings do and promised that anyone who slew the ogre would get to marry his own the princess and become king now walk. when he died. The king's walk. lands were very far away walk. and the ogre was very large, so only one knight showed up. His name was Fred, and he fell immediately in love with the princess. Fred was a brave knight, and he marched off the next morning, singing a brave song as loudly as he could. After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. So she set off into the forest to look for him. The princess tracked Fred's footprints through a strange wilderness full of scary sounds and hidden dangers. Chasms filled with hey, it's limbo. Sharp bamboo. Fortunately, she was a very brave princess who loved adventures, just like you. She used her wits to get past unexpected obstacles. She came to a wide river filled with snapping crocodiles. <laughs> she couldn't even swim. So what do you think she did? She ran on top of their heads. That's right. It was a magical forest where the plants seemed to know each other. 
She had to use magic mushrooms to get high. Hurrah. Magic mushrooms. Oh, oh, I just got to get high or up. Uh, yeah. Ah, I didn't want to run again. Let's start that first. What is it? Yeah. No, huh. Okay, uh, ah, right. Oh, 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 ah. Oh. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. Ah, one way around again. Come on, ah. Uh. Unfortunately, she impaled herself on the bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. Now nah, I should go on to you know, get right around. Right. And then this. There we go. She learned to use some bendy tree branches to fling herself across a patch of deadly sharp bamboo. As the sun was setting, she came to the giant ogre's campsite. And there, the princess discovered that the ogre had captured Fred and hung him from a tree as a snack. The ogre did not appreciate visitors at all. Even Fred seemed a little embarrassed to see him. There we go. But the princess was a woman of action, and she was nimble, and the ogre was clumsy and easy to taunt. That's when you make fun of someone. You should never make fun of people, but with ogres, sometimes you have to. <laughs> There's no comment for that, like, you'd think. Run, run, run. Really is just limbo. <laughs> yeah. And so the oh. princess tricked the ogre and rescued Fred. Fred didn't feel too good about it. He really loved Fortunately, the king told him about a giant spider. Okay, limbo, yes. Yeah. to win the princess's hand. So Fred marched off to the lair of the giant spider. Singing a brave song, a little less loudly than before. After several days had passed, the princess got to wondering what had happened to her future husband. So she went off looking for him again. Fred's footprints led her into a dark and creepy cavern, full of strange dripping sounds, kind of like the basement at school. Her footsteps echoed and echoed. Until it Unfortunately she impaled herself on the bamboo. There's always bamboo. Wait, that's not what happened. Like even in this cave. A vast pit filled with vicious, deadly spikes. It was much too big to jump over. But far off, she could hear moaning. She thought it might be Fred. So what do you think she did? I know, I know. What? She used an umbrella. What? Like that nanny in that movie? This is the Middle Ages. Nanny McPhee? Where would she get an umbrella? I don't know, but that's what she used. I don't... I... I don't think I have an umbrella. Well, you better find one, because she used an umbrella. Where am I supposed to get an umbrella? Oh, uh, there we go. So, the princess <laughs> bravely threw herself into the air, slowing her that's fall cute. using an umbrella. Just like that nanny in the movie. She floated down into the cave, deeper and deeper into the cavern she floated. She thought she could hear Fred moaning, but maybe it was only the wind. 
Mm, it's just a wind. Oh no! Finally, she landed softly, right in a spider's web. Fortunately, it was a very old web, and she was able to break free. Unfortunately, the web was the only thing holding up a giant boulder. Somebody played Limbo. Princess needed to find somewhere to hide. What did I get impaled on? Reminds me of Limbo is part of the PlayStation Plus playlist, I believe. I mean, it might just be a cross-play version of the PS3 stuff, so I probably wouldn't play it. A giant spider jumped out of the shadows, and so it's, it's more than likely I'm just going to have to play it at some point. Again, I played it recently. Yeah. She ran and climbed and jumped and climbed, but the giant spider was very good at climbing too. It had eight legs, and the princess only had two. Right, come on. Up, 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 up. Fortunately, the princess remembered how the webs were holding up boulders. Oh, no. Finally, she found Fred. He was all wrapped up like a present for the giant spider's girlfriend. He was dreadfully embarrassed about having to be rescued again. He really loved the princess. The princess decided he was cute. Fortunately, the king told Round three. Slave in order to win the princess's hand. And stop being so embarrassed. So Fred marched off to the mountaintop of the dragon, singing a brave song very quietly. After a few days, the princess got to wondering why her dad kept trying to give her away. That too. But she was worried about Fred, so she went off to find him. The dragon's mountain was cold, and the wind howled at her to turn back. There were rock slides and fiery chasms, oh, no. but she was very brave and nimble, just like you. She wasn't going to be put off by a few deadly dangers. And up she climbed. When she got cold, she thought about the hot buttered muffin she would make once she got Fred home. Do you still like muffins? I love muffins. The princess hoped Fred liked muffins. <laughs> That's good. That one seems to not be balanced right on the ground. Oh no. Well, at least I knew no to step on that one. When the princess got to the lair of the dragon, she was not very surprised to see Fred hanging from the roof of the dragon's cave. So she taunted the dragon until it roared its fiery breath at her. Finally, burning away the ropes that were tying up Fred. And so the princess what, they didn't fight the dragon? lived happily ever after. Fred never had to go on another adventure again, and they had hot buttered muffins every morning. There is another version of the story where the princess flew off on the dragon's back to have a life full of adventures, <laughs> but that's for another day.
very last refraction on I remember it's something to do with like an octopus and it's kind of an elaborate puzzle. But uh, yeah, that makes about an hour I've played so far of this. I mean, it's like kind of two and a half hours left of it. Um, uh, so I think uh, I, I can't really stay up all night streaming this. Yeah, I've already streamed two other games and all. But uh, I think I will be back with this since this game is short enough and interesting enough that I would want to play all the way through. Uh, half threat is Don't Starve, which will likely just be a half hour stream. But, uh, well, hope you will continue along with me as we go through these like hundreds of PlayStation Plus backlog games. So, it's good night, everybody. <laughs>